This is the stuff that fairy tales are made of. A small lake in San Francisco, Mountain Lake, one of those special places in a big city where no road runs to. You can only walk to get there, making it a sanctuary from the bustle of daily life. But that's not what our story is about. It's about this swan named Myrtle, who happens to be in love with a man. Each morning, right after the sun comes up, Myrtle will make her way over from the lake, across the grass, around the playground. Children have learned to be wary of her. And down the sidewalk, until she finds the place she's looking for, the home of her beloved, and then she'll call for him. The man is named Chuck. He lives in a house just across from Mountain Lake. If Chuck ignores these entreaties, Myrtle goes around to the front. Her eyesight's not that great, but eventually she figures it out. Her patience is rewarded when Chuck finally ambles down the stairs. Then it's off to get some morning coffee, with Myrtle tagging along. You ready to go? All right. Myrtle's favorite spot is right here, at the top of this little knoll. Look at how she waddles with excitement, anxious to get there and tell Chuck all whatever it is that a swan has to tell. Chuck works as a general contractor, so he has more free time than most people. Myrtle met him about four years ago. Chuck has a good sense of humor about this unusual relationship. If she feels that I'm her mate, she might want me to go sit in the egg or something, and she might be scolding me, what are you doing here, get over here with me, and... She wants you to be her mate. I'm afraid so. If my wife walks with me in the park, she'll come between us and push her away. And if anyone talks to me while she's around, she'll get between us and honk and just go crazy. They mate for life, they live till 50, and she's about 15 years old. So I've got uh, 35 years to go yet. 35 years. We'll be celebrating on our anniversary soon, I guess. When he does have to leave to go to work, Myrtle dutifully sees him off. Through the afternoon, Myrtle tries to fill those idle hours. She doesn't feel like socializing. And you can only spend so much time preening. Then could it be? Has Chuck come home? which leads to the highlight of her day, a stroll in blissful solitude to Mountain Lake. My wife said, if I had a nice slender long neck, would you feel the same about me and walk me to the lake every day? You know, something like this. I'm stuck. I'm How long do you think you can continue this for? It's up to her. <laughs> I have no choice in the matter. And now it is time for us to leave. Our true life fairy tale must come to an end we can only wish Myrtle and Chuck continued happiness, the uncommon happiness of a swan and her man. Coming up next, a 90-second look at the Bay Area's best entertainments. Stay with us. <laughs>